In your SQL select statement, you can alias your column names. Aliasing the column name will temporarily assign another name to a column, and that alias name will be returned in your query. Aliasing a column name will not permanently change the column's name though. So under my schema 1, I have an emp table. This table contains fictitious employee information. Let me query this table and return the emp no and the cell fields. Emp no is the employee number, and cell is short for the employee salary. So I type select emp no comma cell from emp. And here is our returned query. Now, if I wanted to alias the cell column to be salary, I would type the as keyword followed by the alias name I would like, which is salary. And if I return that query, as you can see, I return the alias name, which is salary. You also don't need the as keyword. So if I remove the as keyword and just leave a space and type the alias name after cell without any commas, it also works the same. But I would recommend using the as keyword as it makes your code more readable. If you want to alias your column with a name that has white space characters, then you need to enclose it in single or double quotes as such. So if I now alias this as employee salary and enclose it in double quotes, hit return, now we have employee salary. If I was to remove the double quotes, we would get an error, as you can see. Note that you can also use single quotes in MySQL, but some database management systems only allow the use of double quotes. Now, as I said previously, the column name has not permanently changed, as you can see on the left pane. If I refresh it, it's still salary. So that was just a short video showing you how to alias your column names in your SQL query. I hope you found it useful.